Let's go back to where it all started, to a very unfortunate and devastating accident at a Sanders plant in Schweizer Halle in 1986, which uh, resulted in severe pollution of the Rhine River. Now, this event led governments to negotiate, under the auspices of my organization, the UNECE, a legal framework for cross-border cooperation on industrial accidents prevention, preparedness and response. These negotiations uh, resulted in the UNECE Convention on the Transboundary Effects of Industrial Accidents, adopted in 1992 and in force since 2000. Industrial Accident Convention is an ideal tool to support countries in reaching Sendai goals. And this is first because it has tools already available to support countries and secondly, because it is organizing capacity development, emergency uh, joint exercises and other activities which all support countries in reaching Sendai goals. It promotes an understanding of disaster risk through the identification of hazardous activities and their notifications to countries that could be affected in case of an accident. It enhances resilience by working to prevent industrial accidents and by fostering disaster preparedness. The Convention on Industrial Accidents cover uh, one of the main uh, hazards uh, under the Sendai framework for disaster risk reduction, which is the man-made and technological hazards. Through its assistance program and the tools that have been developed, the Convention is assisting its parties in implementing commitments under the SDGs and the Sendai framework. A large-scale field exercise that we hosted here at our facility in Djurgjulesht was very successful and accelerated the cooperation between the industry and the authorities. Uh, convention can be uh, considered as a mechanism uh, of uh, regional and sub-regional cooperation. Transboundary cooperation is key as accidents do not stop at borders. Being prepared uh, for such events, and especially being ready to respond effectively and efficiently to them requires cross-border cooperation and even coordination. Сегодня, в эпоху глобализации, во времена теснейших связей между странами, объединение усилий по недопущению негативного воздействия катастроф на людей становится неотъемлемой частью международных отношений. Обмен опытом, знаниями, Передовой практикой – это тот минимум, который позволит не, допу не допускать ошибок в будущем. Proper implementation at, at the administration level with appropriate financial resources and control mechanism. To support programs for young specialists. So it's very important for all countries to take part in the implementation of the Convention on Industrial Accidents. All authorities and the industry have to learn from their weak spots and need to continuously to work on improvement. Exchanging good practices and transboundary cooperation can help in that regard. Public participation and decision making that helps to continuously improve it. And the industry will be happy to contribute. Some people don't like change, but you need to embrace change if the alternative is a disaster. First, to pay attention and to be really aware of all risks that hazardous substances on their sites are pre presenting. Second, to undertake all measures that are necessary to control the risks and thirdly, emergency planning and response measures to be able to reduce consequences of an accident if it happens. They should ensure that all necessary safety and contingency measures and approaches are implemented at the industrial facilities and they are well maintained at good technical quality. We therefore recommend for the operators to attend international or national training courses to get familiar with modern safety measures and actions. Uh, they should collaborate with national authority, with other relevant stakeholders. They have a key role to play in the early warning system. They can provide timely information about uh, the risk and the hazard that the facilities are facing. 
they also a key in uh, improving the safety uh, in the facilities that uh, they uh, manage. By listening to the guidance and information from the competent authority on what to do in case of an accident, and by paying attention to the instructions of rescue forces in the case of an accident, public can do most to protect themselves. Transparency and proper information flow should be provided for the public so that all citizens benefit from the activities of accident prevention and control. Uh, the public should be engaged on this issue because we need their feedback to improve the mechanisms which are in place. We at the Secretariat facilitate opening doors and building bridges. However, cooperation must happen on the ground, across borders, between countries, and be implemented by operators, services and authorities at all levels. Чтобы избежать аварий, минимизировать риски их возникновения, обеспечить полноценную готовность к чрезвычайным ситуациям, необходима качественная работа всех заинтересованных. Должна быть налажена четкая система взаимодействия и понимания госорганов, организаций, общественности и средств массовой информации. И только вместе мы можем сделать наш мир безопасным. Данию Блодисти congratulates all of you with the International Day for Disaster Reduction and encourages every individual community and government to take part in building more disaster resilient communities and nations. Congratulations. Il est français deux fois, une fois pour la terre et deux fois pour notre génération et les générations qui vont venir parce qu'on va prendre votre exemple. Protéger notre futur, protéger nos vies.